What's up, you amazing people? It's I, Nima, and we're back again with another sale video. So again, I didn't follow my own rules where I'm supposed to pick one game and talk about it a little bit and say, hey, this is why you should pick it up while it's on sale. I, in fact, picked two again, like I did last time. I, for some reason, just cannot get things right. And it's not like I don't have enough other things to do as well. Like, as far as reviews, I've got one coming out pretty much every single day this week, so it's gonna be crazy. But before we get into that, though, please, that like and subscribe button, especially if you guys like video game content, I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out a ton, especially if you can share it and do all that, like, YouTube internet crap. It sucks to always ask, but the thing is, if you guys do like video game content, this is a good place to go because I cover them all the time. It's pretty much all I do. So, the first game I want to start off with is a game that I actually don't really like that much. It's it's good. It's fine, like, as far as graphics and performance and even the whole, like, setup to it and the writing. The writing is fantastic. There is literally a, a line in here that says, I don't want to have to drink after Steven. He has herpes, which is hilarious. And that game is Warlocks 2. Right now, it's $1.99. It's Typically, this game is $17.99, and me and my research assistant, Trick, cannot confirm how long this sale is going to be going, because we both own the game, and with the eShop, it doesn't actually tell you, and, like, when, if you purchase the game, how long it's going to be on sale, and online, it's all kind of screwed, it doesn't tell you either, so, you got some time. I know that the rest of the games from the same company, I believe, go off sale on the 26th, so, you should have quite a bit of time to make your decision up, but it's a good game, especially for $2. For me, personally, I just don't love the controls and I don't really love the like metroidvania style it has to be just the right metroidvania for me I'm incredibly picky but the characters you have like five or six to choose from and like I said, it's just like a fun Metroidvania. A lot of action, a lot of good stuff there, but again, not really for me. Now, the one I do want to talk about, though, is a game called Moonlighter. Now, this is a game that I've wanted to play for a long time, but something you guys may not be aware of, I actually own my own business for quite a long time. I think about five years I own my own retail store. The thing is, it was so much stress, so much pressure. There was always regulations. There was taxes to pay. There was inventory to worry about. It, it, it sucked, honestly. Like, we went out of business about a, well, a couple months ago, and honestly, as bad as it was, it was kind of one of the best things that's happened to me, because I just, I'm glad to be done with it. Well, I, I talk about this only because of Moonlighter, because this is a game that I wanted to play, but I thought it would just, like, remind me of work, and so I didn't want to play it. Uh, I, I thought, like, oh, this is going to make me think about taxes, and it's gonna make me think about sales, and whatever, and stuff I don't even want to think about, so I never actually got a chance to play it, like, when it was popular, and it's been on multiple sales for, like, the last year, which has been the like catalyst behind me wanting to play it but this last year as you can imagine my business has been doing horrible so I like definitely didn't want to play it but then I did because the whole concept of this game is that you go into a dungeon and you find artifacts you find just different resources and stuff that you can sell at your shop during the day so at night you're out you know dungeon crawling and fighting monsters and dungeon exploring and then during the day you're running your shop and both aspects of that are really cool like for one the fight Fighting is not super great or anything, but it's it's consistent, and I would say it's actually pretty fun. It's not going to give you, like, Diablo or anything like that kind of, you know, complexity, but it gets the job done, and it's actually really interesting because you'll come across different journals and tomes and stuff that will tell you a little bit more about these dungeons and what they're doing there because there's something much bigger going on than what you're aware of. Now, to be honest, I don't know what it is yet because I just picked up the game because it's on sale right now, and ultimately, it's been one of those games that has been screwed up my schedule because I have all these other games to review, but I keep playing it because it's a lot of fun. That and Legend of Heroes, I, I gotta get through these two games because they're totally messing up my reviews. But I think, like, ultimately the, the idea, this, like, dynamic of going to find stuff, bringing it to your shop the next day, cashing out, so to speak, and then taking that money and actually investing it in the town, where you can actually invest in other businesses to have them grow, and so you can use them as well. Like, things, you know, like a blacksmith and potion and armor or all that, all that sort of stuff, you know, retail store that you can actually benefit from as well as also having your own, like, town grow, then you can also take the money and invest it in your own shop. So you can, you know, customize it better. You can have, like, sales bins. You can have different, just aesthetic stuff as well that maybe won't actually help you. But then you can also buy, like, a better bed so you get better sleep at night when you do actually sleep because, I swear to God, your dude is, like, totally hooked on meth or something. You'd have to be because he doesn't rest. It's just dungeon crawling, running a business, dungeon crawling. Like, that's his life. And I will say one of the fun parts about the game is actually 
you know, bringing back these resources, these trinkets, these artifacts, and then placing them on your store shelves and setting a price. It's kind of interesting because you can kind of see what is popular and what sales are going for. So you kind of want to be careful. Like, you don't want to take something that's very expensive and put it for like 20, you know, gold or whatever when it's really selling for 400. So you kind of got to guesstimate when you first put a product out and then you get to watch the customers as they react to the price. And that's how you actually figure out your price that you're going to put in there, which I think is a really cool idea. And by the way, the prices of these products do change. So it's just, and that's a small dynamic because honestly, I believe that there is so much more to deal with the dungeons than what they're making it out to be. Like this all has to deal with opening a fifth door, they say. And this is something that like the Moonlighter like legacy has been about, but many people have died going into these dungeons trying to figure this out. But there's these keys that you're looking for while you're also like low key running a pretty successful business and making quite a bit of money. So you're going back and forth between these two dynamics and it, it gives you like that Stardew Valley cozy aspect, but then it also gives you like this dungeon crawling, a little bit of like an ARPG aspect. And so I think this is a really fun game. The best part about this right now though is, and so I picked up the complete edition, which I think makes more sense to do it. And typically this runs at $28.99, but right now it's $5.79 and you still have about, according to my research assistant trick, you still have about 13 to 12 days to actually purchase it. Again, I can't tell because the eShop sucks now, but yeah, you should have over a, a week to decide to pick it up, but I think it's definitely worth a pickup, especially for that price, and you get a whole lot for your money. I mean, I've had a few people tell me that with the DLC and expanding everything, they've spent easily 40 to 50 hours into the game, so $5.79 for a 40-50 hour game, and honestly, everything runs really well. It looks really good with that pixel art style. The only thing that I don't like is the main character kind of looks like an old man, but he's not. He's just like, he has white hair, which kind of makes you think that. Then he carries a bag on his back, so it looks like he's hunched over. <laughs> So it looks like he's like this old, old man, like just trekking through the dungeons, just slaying monsters and stuff, which I like that idea too, to be honest. Anyway, I think this is definitely worth a pickup for me. This is like my sale of the week. It's the one that you should pick up if you haven't. I really have enjoyed Moonlighter far more than I thought I would. And I'm glad I like now able to pick it up and play it. Anyway, guys, I want to know what your thoughts are. Are there, is there a better sale in your opinion? What games are you playing? Which ones are on sale right now that you're looking at? All your comments down below, I'd appreciate it. If you played Moonlighter, if you're thinking about getting it anything and everything like i said i appreciate each and every one of you like always i'm wishing you health wealth and above all i hope you're truly happy because you make me happy take care everyone bye, -bye.